No spoilers, because I don't want to ruin this for anyone. I've recently worked out what draws me to different medias, be it games, movies, art, or music, is a sense of atmosphere. That's why I love lo-fi and thrillers, and it's specifically why I love Persona 5 more than any other game to ever be made. Because it doesn't just create a sense of atmosphere, its atmosphere is core to the gameplay itself. I never even heard of the Persona series when I picked up Persona 5 off the shelf. I hadn't seen a trailer, I knew nothing about it. I just wanted something to fill the time. So let me break down this game in its simplest way. Okay, imagine Inception with 200% more style, flair, and angst, crossed with every heist movie ever. Add a dash of teenage drama, the dating simulator, impossibly dark themes, and very Japanese comedy. Boom, there you have Persona 5. By day, you answer school questions and sit exams. By night, uh, you're not exactly Batman, but you've got more style in him anyway. You go around through different palaces slash dungeons and battle shadows. If you aren't familiar with the Persona franchise, don't worry, you don't have to be. I wasn't, and I didn't have any problems. Like Final Fantasy XV, this game is designed with newcomers in mind. So don't go thinking you need to play the previous games before you play this one, because trust me, the three will break you in many ways emotionally. You aren't ready for that. But to be fair, before we really get into this review, I need to preference this. Persona 5 isn't a game you should be playing if you're particularly young or aren't prepared for some messed up stuff. It is incredibly dark and mature at times. Arguably too mature for a game of this style and comedy. It can sometimes feel out of place when you have mature themes mixed with these zany characters. But if you are prepared for some mature content, then you're all ready to go. I will also say that Persona 5 is not a perfect game. I have my issues with it, but the fact of the matter is, I originally played it a year ago before review, and all of my issues with it have faded completely into the background. I couldn't care less about them anymore, and they never come to mind when I think of Persona 5. And a lot of the things I loved about it have also faded as well, and I think it's very telling that what I'm about to talk about today has stuck around in my mind much longer than any little issues or throwaway points. When I think of Persona 5, I think of this. So yes, the game has issues, but the fact I don't remember any of them outside of really long text conversations shows that they are nothing more than minor complaints that I don't really care about. If you do care about them, then there are many, many other reviews that went really deep into those issues, and I don't feel the need to retrace others' footsteps when it comes to this review, with a game of this scope. I'm sure I explained that awfully, but let's get into the review. At its core, Persona 5 is a turn-based JRPG. Now don't go getting scared immediately. This game is incredibly user-friendly. Seriously, the first 20 hours is a tutorial. You'll be fine. And when you do get it, when it all clicks, damn it's good! It's incredibly addictive. Which is good, because you'll be fighting guys a lot, so it's pretty great that the gameplay is damn near perfect. This game will challenge you, but it's a good type of challenge. It's a bit of a wake-up call. You can't just coast through it. Well, you can if you play it on easy, but even then, the game will test you. You need to learn it. But here's why this game is perfect in my eyes. It's not the story, even though I love the story. It's not the crisp, addictive gameplay. It's the characters and the world that I always come back to. But it wasn't until recently that I realized why they worked so well. The characters are impossibly strong and well-written. Outside of a few corny lines, the dialogue is perfect for this style of game. And it does an incredible job at creating a wonderful cast of memorable characters that I was sad to say goodbye to in the end. It was so good that I originally wrote a four-page essay specifically about one of the characters that I was intending to make into a video essay. But then uh, term three of school happened and I decided a review would uh, just be better. The fantastic characters helped create a wonderful and detailed world that I spent hundreds of hours immersing myself in. I loved it. But what is a world without atmosphere and mood? Well, that's all thanks to the art direction, weather, and music. Let's start with the art. The anime style works wonderfully with the themes and expression of this world, making boring streets pop with colour and detail. It's bloody breathtaking. Weather effects then work hand in hand with the art style. Over the game, you move through different days, months, and seasons. So not only do you experience morning, evening, sunset, you also experience blistering heat and pouring rain. You experience everything. The art style helps to put emphasis on all of this, from changing character models and clothes to different effects. It creates a wonderful mood. And then pair all that with the fantastic music 
that changes depending on the weather and the location. So say you're walking in the street, well that song is different to the school song, but then it's also raining and that song is slightly different to the normal one. So it's little details like this that make it so atmospheric and wonderful. But then the most important part, the fact that the weather, which is amplified by the art style and music, all makes different effects on the gameplay. It changes what you can do and what you should do. It gives buffs and different pastimes and options. Taking something that would have just been there for atmospheric purposes and wove it directly into the gameplay, making it integral into the experience. That is why this game is fantastic and in my eyes utterly perfect. It takes all these different things, different aspects, different options, different experiences and combines them together in a perfect way to build them up and then integrates them into the gameplay, making everything into a cohesive experience. There is no way to waste time in Persona 5. Everything links back to something else and pushes you forward. Another example of this is the characters. The more you learn about them, the closer you get, which strengthens your bonds when fighting and makes you more powerful. It links everything together to make it such a full and enjoyable experience. Persona 5 isn't just amazing because it has nice art style, some funky music, or a ton of style. It's because all of those things are integral to the gameplay. Nothing is unimportant. Everything makes sense and works together. It's not just atmospheric for atmospheric sake, or characters for characters sake, it all makes up one specific, perfect, wonderful, jaw-dropping game. Well, there you go. That's my quote-unquote review here for Persona 5. I've been trying to make this for over a year now. I've written this review so many times in so many different ways. At a stage, I intended to make a, like a five-part review to cover everything in detail. So like the characters, the world, the music, the gameplay, all that kind of stuff, the bosses. So yeah, uh, if you're interested, I would love to talk more about Persona games on this channel in the future. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. So you know